let me do a few more examples of factorization for, of quadratics, which is harder uh, with uh, a number with the, as a coefficient of x squared. So let me take uh, the first question. Okay, so if it is say 10x squared minus 13x minus 3. If you have watched my previous video, there are basically the first step is to multiply the coefficient of x squared, which is 10 and negative 3. So let us multiply that. So 10 times negative 3 is negative 30. And then you have to find the two factors, which adds to give you minus 30. So this is not difficult. So 15 and 2 gives you 30. And 15, negative 15 plus 2 gives you negative 30. And negative 15 plus 2 is negative 30. Now the next step is where you want to write them directly in two factors. You want to write directly the two factors. There are different ways where you, you can write this and then you factorize. There are, it can, for some students, it can be a bit daunting. So what are this method, by this method, you can directly get the factors, but you have to divide both these factors by the coefficient of x squared. So what I mean is, so you do divide minus 15 by 10 and also 2 by 10, and then you simplify it. So this is, if you simplify, you can divide both by 5. So this is negative 3 over 2. And this gives you, you can divide by one, 2. So this is 1 over 5. Okay, now this is where the trick is. You, the bottom number tells you the coefficient of x. And the, sec, the top number tells you the uh, constant. So what does this mean? 2 and negative 3 means the factors are 2x minus 3. One factor is 2x minus 3. And here, again the same logic, this phi becomes the coefficient of x in the second bracket. So this is 5x, 5x plus 1. And this is where the next step is, of course, equally important. You should always expand and see whether you're getting back the original expression. So this you can see very clearly, 2x times 5x is 10x squared, and negative 3 times plus 1 is negative 3. The main thing is to check whether you're getting the middle term. So this is, if you multiply this 2, you're getting minus 15x. Or can you see the minus 15 here? And if you multiply these 2, you get plus 2x. And so our answer is right. Okay, so you can be quite happy with your answer. So let's do a slightly difficult question. So question two. Okay, so what is the next question? 20x squared plus 11x minus 4. The same process, multiply the coefficient of x squared and this constant. So this becomes minus 80. I'll write directly minus 80. The two factors which adds to give you plus 11. Okay, so at times it is difficult. So if you can't see the factors, let's write 20 times 4. Okay, 20 and 4 will not, can never give you 11. So let's split this. So this can be written as 5 times 4. 5 times 4. Uh, this is how much? 2 times 2. Okay, so this is. So can you see now this is 16 and this is 5. So 16 and 5. So let me write 16 and plus 5. 16 and 5. And now decide the sign. You want negative 80 and you also want plus 11. So the greater has to be plus and the smaller has to be minus. Okay, the next step is I will, is where you want to write this in two brackets. So I want to write this in two brackets. Okay, so yeah, so I don't have space here, or I can do it here. So what is this? I'm going to divide 16 by 16 by 20 and minus 5 by 20. And this is uh, 
I can't explain the logic, okay, but uh, it does work. So 16, the second, this step is a bit crucial. So this simplifies to what goes in 16 and 20. Well, 4 goes in 16 and 20. So 4 times 4 is 16, or 16 divided by 4 is 4. Okay, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. And this simplifies to what? So 5 goes in both, so this is minus 1 over 4. So the factors are 5x, 5x plus 4. And for, for the second bracket, it is 4x minus 1. So clearly, clearly you can see this is 20x squared. 5x times 4x is 20x squared. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And this is the the real test. So this is mine. This is plus 16x. Can you see this plus 16? This is plus 16x, and this is minus 5x. So answer is right. So let me finish up. I'll write two questions now. That is something that you can do yourself. Okay. So how would you do? Say 15x squared. This is something that you can do yourself. 15x squared minus 28x plus 12 the same process multiply this two and find the two factors which gives you minus 28 and one more 6x squared uh, 16x squared 16x squared plus 32x plus 15.